imagine. A small village in the Philippines on Mindoro Island called Puerto Galera. And there is a friendly diving resort called Atlantis located on Saban Beach. The staff, management, and the diving crew are hard to compare. Just excellent. And imagine that within 3 to 10 minutes of a boat ride from that resort, you have many world-class diving sites like in no other place on the planet. You should consider a trip to this place where they will pamper you like a king. The fantastic creek formations and abundance of sea life are hard to compare to other places. Just 10 minutes boat ride from the resort, there is a place called Batangas Channel where we could experience lovely muck diving. Nothing spectacular like other well-known places in the Philippines. But at the same time, a fantastic place to get a first grip on the excellent exploration of the ocean where the trash a human creates is a habitat for marine life. Muck diving is usually shallow and initially seems to be not very eventful. But once one grasps the concept of finding small micro creatures in unique places, taking cover between the trash created by the human, one will start thinking how adaptive can be the nature. Instead of rejection, adaptation, can we as humans do the same? Instead of conquering the world, can we adapt? The Batangas Channel is the entry-level place for muck diving. But at the same time, it was a super relaxing moment after challenging dives at the Green Island. The washing machine especially. The Batangas Channel is a super friendly place to feel safe welcome and relaxed. Nuda branches are just spectacular in colors and shapes. One can wonder what the purpose of such varieties was. I know the answer, to hook up people on scuba diving. Within an hour-long dive, I had a chance to see so many different species. Plenty of cuttlefish, including flamboyant. Small but very spectacular, always on the move and flashing with changing colors. I was wondering if I should be encouraged or discouraged from approaching. 
it was a warning sign since this is a very poisonous creature. They lay eggs very often inside of coconut shell, unprotected against other predators. The cuttlefish is one of the most interesting oceanic creatures. Always curious, always attentive, always watching the diver with full attention. Keeping a safe distance, but hoping for contact. The cuttlefish changing colors and adapting to the adjacent area is incredible. This is an actual ocean camelon. There is always the world of bottom feeders. Slow and uneventful, but is that true? Waspish would disagree with that statement. Pufferfish loves to take a nap in the secluded places. This time it is a cove formed by giant sponge. I have seen many large seahorses, yellow, common, and spotted. All were moving with the flow. Nothing truly could make them move faster than the oceanic current. Camouflaged scorpion fish is always a treat to see. Amazing colors, skin covered with tiny elements and big eyes watching all movements with amazing precision and attention. No movements, just hours of waiting for dinner. Mimic new to branch looks like flower coral incredible camouflage. Hard to distinguish what is what. And is hard to believe that this is a living creature. During muck diving, I often see trash produced by a human being used as protection or a base for underwater life. Often, Pieces of discarded building materials form a house for the colony of small and big fish and many shrimps. Sometimes the lionfish try to eat very close to home. This is always a very hungry fish. Pegasus sea moth looks unreal, usually walks together with the other significant one and seems to be in no rush. 
They look like creatures not from this planet. It reminds me of a spaceship from a futuristic movies. Blue spotted urchin is a poisonous creature, but some smaller fish have adopted the use of dangerous spikes as protection from predators. The moves are so coordinated that it is hard to believe that it has not been practiced for days. Shortfin lionfish, one of many spectacular looking fish in this part of the world. Its population is kept under control by a wide variety of actual predators. In the Caribbean area, the larger cousin of this fish at the moment is the biggest treat to the reef's life feeding on average 40 small fish daily. There are no natural predators for this fish in that area. Desperate divers are trying to educate sharks like to hunt them. Always hungry sea cucumber moves tons of sand through his body leaving behind evidence of a good appetite. Cuttlefish is one of the most intelligent species and is always fun to observe. Adjustment to colors and patterns are spectacular. Corkscrew sea aemons usually live with all kinds of shrimps in perfect harmony. This symbiosis works both ways. Food for protection. There is always a pack of clownfish hanging out to the sea anemone, forming a castle in the universe for this funny and beautiful fish. I have seen many large seahorses, yellow, common, and spotted. All were moving with the flow. Nothing truly could make them move faster than the oceanic current. Seahorses are always fun to watch, but when they fall asleep on the leaf, it makes them more adorable than ever before. One species that is very hard to spot and even more difficult to capture is the tiger shrimp. My local guide told me that this was an extraordinary treat.